Now I have a little bit to reading Bhaktira Samrita Sindhu because I'm translating. So now we are, we are every day, uh, we are sharing something. And why we are sharing? Why we are reading uh, Virapak Sumanjari and uh, uh, Radhara Sasudanidi? So, and uh, because, uh, because uh, we are hearing from Lashka uh, Vaishnava, then if some devotees has some rati or some baba feeling, then that feeling come to in, in, in our heart. And uh, then uh, we cannot, we can beyond uh, rule and regulation. Actually, Naren Maharaji was saying uh, Three, I think three baths is very important for us, for Raganuga Bhajan. One is uh, one is Krishna, Smaranam, Janam, Chasya, Preshtan, Nija, Samihitam. Tatat Kata Latas Chaso, Kuriat Basan Braja Sada. Remembering the Brindavan form of Krishna and his dear associates who have inclination for the service similar to one's own, observing oneself in hearing topics related to them. One should always live in Braja. And then next bus is, Guru Dev would like this bus. Seva Sadaka Rupena, Siddha Rupena Chaturahi, Tat Baba Dipshuna Karya, Braja Lokanu Sarataha. Following after the inhabitants of Braja, one should perform service in one's physical body and in one's Siddha body with a desire for a particular Baba. And also, next say, Shurabanot Kirtana Dini. By the Bhaktiya Uditan to Yani Angani Cha Toni Atora Bigayani Manishibi. The discriminating practitioner should accept the anger that were mentioned in By the Bhakti such as hearing and chanting as angas of Laganuga Bhakti. And this three, before three baths, it is said, Tat tat baba di madure shurute diyat apekshate natura shastra na yuktan chatta lobat pati lakshana. Now 
the appearance of that greed is indicated when the intelligence does not depend on rules of scripture and logics after realizing to some degree the sweetness of the love of the Brajabasi through the process of hearing from the scripture. So, and then it say, by their bhakti adhikari to baba baba brit baba na badi atra shastran tata tarkam anukuram apekshate who's qualified for by the bhakti i depend on the rules of scripture and favorable use of logic until appearance of Baba Bhakti. So this is very interesting. Why is Gurudev Sadhu Maharaji is just to want to share a feeling or just hearing Radhara Sasdanidi or Birapak Sumanjari. Because if hearing from Rupa Ragunata or Lashka Vaishnava, then slowly, slowly, Brajabashi's sweetness or Lashka Vaishnava's sweetness enter into the heart, then it is there. Greed appear. So Gurudev Narayan Maharaj also said, to enter Raganuga Bhajan, we have to have greed. The next question is how to get greed. So this answer is like here. Bhaktira Samrita Sindhu, 12292. Again. The appearance of that greed is indicated when the intelligence does not depend on rules of scripture and logics after realizing to some degree the sweetness of the love of Brajabasi through the process of hearing from the scripture. So if we, so now you're understanding Gurudev's giving the process of hearing and sharing, that is the shortest way to attain greed. And if greed appear, then that devotee what to do. That devotee is always remembering Krishna and Krishna's lover 
and gopis and manjaris and radharanis and uh, to remember Krishna and Krishna's devotee, Krishna's associates, and Nitya Parikara. And then uh, remembering the Gira and chanting, hearing, chanting, remembering. And always we have to live in Braja. Uh, because uh, at Brindavan, uh, we are very easy to remember Krishna's uh, pastime. And uh, if we discuss the uh, sweetness of Brindavan or Nikunjadira, Then we are uh, always observed in Lila. And then in Sadaka Deha and Siddha Deha, we try to follow the footstep of. Uh, specific devotee, especially for us, Rupa Lagunata, Rupa Lati. And uh, we try to hankering uh, that Bamba. So, mm. And uh, and I don't know today what to say. I want to read Birapak Sumanjari. Bus 31. Is okay? Very nice. And so <clears throat> bus. Uh, I don't know, my book is 128. Virapaksamanjali, 31. O Sunetore, fair-eyed girl, will I soon worship your lotus feet? by carefully putting jeweled ankle bells on them. And worship the petals of those lotuses, your toes, with your dearest toe ring. Will you I soon worship your waist, which is Krishna's matchless love seat with a golden sash of 
jingling bells. Again, O Sunetore, fair eyed girl, will I soon worship your lotus feet by carefully putting jeweled ankle bells on them and worship the petals of those lotus, your toes, with your dearest toe rings. Will I soon <coughs> worship your waist, which is Krishna's matchless Love seat with a golden sash of jingling bells. Oh, or somebody, Andakaji. Shuri or Andakaji, could you lead in the purple? Could you lead on the purport notes? Uh, sorry, uh, we are very absorbed. Uh, could you say verse number again? I uh, want Satima. to. Satima. Satima, thank you so much. <coughs> Satima. We are back to Monday, Satima. Notes. By Ananta Das Babaji. Ananta Das Babaji Nior Kaisis. Maybe so. Uh, Ananda Prema Sanyaku Ikemaska. Okay, just English. <coughs> mm -hmm. First, Sri Raghunath has a vision mm. in his Swarupa Vesha. And then he prays for devotional service in his external consciousness. Mm. In this way, it varies. The sadaka does not concoct his own path and he does not want his independent conceptions <laughs> very nice beautiful mm. yes. <laughs> okay so could you say Another sentence also. Mm. He depends on the words of the Acharyas. So this is an interesting point. Sadaka does not concoct own path. Also, Sadaka does not want his independent conceptions. Sadaka depends on the words of the Acharya. Wow. So, what is the words of Acharya? For us, words of Acharya is words of Rupa Raghunath. Yeah. Or Rupa. Nuga Acharyas. Mm. Why? Because Rupa Raghunata and their followers, they all 
expansion of Shrimati Radhika, one sense. They are all Manjari. So they are in the Pradini Shakti. So Prabhupada mentions our original natural position is in the Fradini Shakti. So Guru Dev used to uh, say 18, uh, 78, last uh, bus or purport. So I try to read again. The living entity in his original position is pure spirit. He is just like an atomic particle of the supreme spirit. The conditioned living entity, however, is a marginally energy of the Lord. He tend to be in contact with both the material, material energy and spiritual energy. In other words, the living entity is situated between the two energies of the Lord. And because he belonged to the superior energy of the Lord, he has a partic uh, particle of independence. By proper use of that independence, he comes under the direct order of Krishna. Thus, he attains his normal condition in the pleasure-giving potency. So pleasure-giving potency is internal potency and fradini shakti. So if we concoct something, or if we want to have independent conception, that means we are the influence of the material energy. But if we, if we follow, if we depend on the words of Acharya, words of Acharya is full of mercy and full of influence of Fradini Shakti. Because they are Dasi of Radharani. Or very intimate associates. So therefore, following and hearing the words of Acharya, the Fradini Shakti enter into our heart. Then we can attain easily normal condition in pleasure-giving potency. Then hearing the word of Acharya, purifying our heart, then we can have some rati. Actually, we can have at first taste luchi. Then so much attachment, asakti is coming and lati attain. Lati is sometimes called baba. Shastra say if, if we, we cannot attain lati, that sadhana is useless. Because how 
Why we doing sadhana? Because to because we want to attain the lati and prema. So this following or defending depending on the word of Acharya, we may easily attain lati. This is uh, uh, my humble understanding over there. Good if you want, please uh, kindly. Uh, so please, you explain beautifully. You Very nicely you are doing. My problem has some speaker problem here. So you now do. I could hear. Now I could hear. <laughs> yeah. They change this. Uh, okay. You do. Yeah. So, if somebody can uh, please uh, explain more nicely, <laughs> this is we are very pleased. Suniki and uh, uh, Gora Baniji and Gora Chandra, uh, Fueba, Gora Hi. Sunda. Yes, Gora Chandra. We want to hear Gora Chandra. Yeah, I hope Gora Chandra. Radhe Radhe. Dhanavad. <clears throat> I can share one experience in that connection, maybe. I am reading Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi to the devotees. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, I am reading verse number 15. And before, I am reading and then chanting a little. So the verse starting with, let my mind find pleasure in Vrindavan. But I'm reading, I make mistake. I'm reading, let my mind find peace. So I start chanting and thinking about, let my mind find peace. Then I think this cannot be true. We don't want peace of mind. So I think this is example of realization that by listening many times from the Acharyas and from Gurudev, it gets part of your inner being that you understand the Vani, the words of the Acharyas. It enters the heart and becomes your nature. So whenever you read something, after some time you can judge. This is our way and this is something different. This is our mood, or this is a different mood. So, I could not continue chanting, meditating, because I'm not agree with the words, let my mind find peace. <laughs> so then I read the verse again, and there I can see it. Let my mind find pleasure. 
So I make mistake by reading. But from inside, from the connection with Guru Dev, and by adopting and integrating the words of the Acharyas, by listening again and again the message, the Vani of Mahaprabhu, I could recognize that mistake. Because peace of mind is goal of yogi. Mukti. We don't want that. We want, then it's explained in the purport of Anantaras Babaji, that our mind is running freely in the Nikunjas of Vrindavan. <laughs> like a bee in the one flower. She is not peaceful. She is very active. From all the sides, want to drink the nectar and smelling here some flavor and going around, going more deep in the flower, try to find more nectar. So there's also peace of mind because the mind has no desire to go other place. The mind is one place, but is relishing varieties of flavors and moods and feelings. So I think this is a good example for what is meaning of realization that what you read, you understand, and you can start judging what is ours and what is not ours. And it's also an example for how the words of the Acharyas, they transform our understanding and they help growing us, that we become fixed in our mood. And it starts with understanding the Vani, the Siddhanta clearly. Yes. Jai Ho. Thank you. Jai Ho. Thank you very much. Anyway. Amazing, Achandra, really. Mm -hmm. So really? it's really great what you share. It touches my heart. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we can again leading is okay. Ragunata's prayers, ah, sorry, Sadaka's prayers will be very pure when he serves the Goswami's syllables by hearing and chanting them. Each of these syllables is filled with the flavor of worship and the great eagerness with which their voices were filled when they offered their prayers. So, this is an interesting point. Each of 
I challenge each of the syllables is filled with the flavor of worship. So what is the flavor of worship? This flavor yeah. of worship means full of uh. rasa. Mm. Especially one style barber. Actually, wa actually was always stick on one style barber. And also full of taste. Therefore, Acharya does not uh, uh, deviate, stick the word of Rupa Ragunata, stick of the Acharya's words. And especially this one style Baba and uh, some particular lasa taste. And in other words, particular feeling, because Acharya is meditating in the Sadaka Deha, also in Siddha Deha. In Siddha Deha, he is doing so many, so many seva, many feeling coming, five rasa, and seven rasa also, like adbut, harsh, and, and sometimes bitter, and many, many kinds of feelings coming. And actually the prayers full of feeling, full of greed, greed full of rasa. Rupa Ragnata does not say anything, oh, I am now perfect. I'm meditating nicely. Actually, does not say like this. When they will come to me, I can serve Radha Mohan. When that day will come, I can see the lotus feet of Radha Mohan. When that day will come, I can serve in Kunja. Especially this, this, this verse, Ragnata does serving uh, the lotus feet of uh, Shurimati. Swamini. So this is, uh, so this is uh, interesting that the, the flavor of worship. Yeah, there are Oh, yes, you first. Okay, come. You sure you sure no, 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 you first, please. <laughs> <laughs> So here, before we read that the devotee, the sadhaka, should not concoct his own way, speculation. In the same way, we can say that we don't even need to make our own prayers. The prayers from the acharyas. They are perfect. And they're coming from the perfect source, the connection from the perfect source. Like the people, they're doing puja with, with the Ganga water. They take Ganga water to themselves and they give it back. They receive something from the source and they just give it back. So you don't need to bring your own water. Your own water is not perfect. You receive everything. Your only work to do is 
to reply, to accept with the perfect words that have already the flavor of worship. How can I pray independently? So the Achayas, they are so merciful. They give us the perfect play prayers and we can use them also for our worship. Everything is there. We don't need to do our own prayers, our own speculations. We only have to catch on their words. And what we receive from the source, we only connect again ourselves with that source. We don't have to invent something new. Everything is already perfect and full of flavor and hmm. flavor of worship. <laughs> Yeah. So beautiful, Gora Chandraji. <laughs> and I also feel uh, this the flavor of worship. Flavor of worship, very beautiful words. And this flavor means rasa. What does it mean? Who is the best worshiper? Aradhana. Our Swami. What does she offer? Mahababa. Means flavor of worship means just offer our Baba. Then next question is, where come from Baba? We need Rasa, subject, object. That's why we need Swarupa and Swarupa city. That's why Prabhupada again and again said relationship. Bhagavad Gita introduction page four. First, we need relationship. Then from this relationship means Rasa. Then feeling calm. Our Swamini is embodiment of Mahababa. Just she made by Mahababa means Manjari is also made by Mahababa. What we can do? Most highest worship offer our Baba. That's why our Gurudeva is so merciful, our Acharya is merciful. Why? They show us the way, hidden path. We need this Baba. That's why Narayan Maharaj is intro, uh, introduced us, introduced us how to get to Stai Baba. This is a point. Then, one day we can become Radha Rasi. Like this come to my heart, this uh, the flavor of worship, not only worship, flavor of worship is a very beautiful word and touch my heart. Thank you, Jai Shri Very nice. Thank Again, we can do it. There is a merciful blessing for those who serve these syllables. Srila Rupa Goswami. Close off 
his beautiful prayer named Chatu Pushpanjali with the following benediction. Anyone who recites this Chatu Pushpanjali prayer, dedicating it to the Queen of Vrindavana, Sri Radhika. will certainly become the object of her mercy. Hmm. Radha Dasya Bhajan cannot be performed in mundane consciousness and it should not depend on any external condition the words of the goswamis are very powerful <laughs> they will remove material consciousness and cause the heart to be absorbed in Sri Radha's devotional service. Wow, this is so nice. This is a very nice one. This is if if we pray or if we hear the Goswami's word, they remove mm. material consciousness. Mm. Or Guru Dev will remove our material consciousness and causes the heart to be observed in Radha's devotional service. This is very interesting. We don't need to <laughs> concoct anything. We just follow Acharya. We just hear from Acharya's words. <laughs> rade, rade. Rade, rade, please. What you said is also stated in Chaitanya Charit Amrita because wow. when Krishna made his plans to appear mm. in the mood of Swamini mm. and with the complexion of her, he actually is telling mm. about the different rasas and that the devotees are very blessed when they have spontaneous feelings for him. He's talking mm. about the gopis. And there's a verse number 33 in Adi Lila, chapter 4. And this is stating, Then, by hearing about the pure love of the residence of Braj, mm what else the Goswamis are. <laughs> then, by hearing about the pure love of the residents of Braj, devotees will worship me on the path of spontaneous love, mm. abandoning all rituals of religiosity and fruitive 
activities. So actually, this is the way to hear rasa from these great souls, from mm. devotees who have rati in the heart, who have these feelings. And when we hear that, then in our hearts, the fire will be set and it will burn all things who do not belong there, like religiosity, fruitive wishes, whatever, it will burn down by rati, by the attachment. So this is the way and this is the plan of Krishna before he came down as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mm. Mm. It's confirmed in Chaitanya Amrita in such very nice words also. Very nice. And also, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, similar bus I found. Uh, Bhakti Rasa Murita Sindhu 12254. Luchin Udvahatast Tatora Janasha Bajanai Hare. Bishayeshu Garistopi Laga Purayo Bidiate. If a person has a taste for worshiping the Lord, means Luchi. Even he has strong material attachment. Those attraction will for the most part of, most part be destroyed during sadhana without resorting to Bairagya. This sadhana means he hearing, chanting, and remembering of the past time of Radha Mohan. This is also Rupa Goswami Pada mentioned, same thing. Very interesting. Radhe, Radhe. I would like to share just listening these words of the Goswami is very powerful. Then one thing can one song come to my heart again and again. Vandelu pasanatana ragu yugo, shiji wago parako. Again and again. And I ask my heart, why? Because this Shadu Gosami Astaka, everyone knows. What is the meaning of the song? Means what Six Gosami did? What their sadhana? And what is their baba and glorification of Six Gosami means? How strong sadhana, how big baba they did? And one thing, and uh, one day I asked Kesha Baba. This question that actually we read the Virapak Manjari and we knew Ragnata Dasa Goswami is very hard sadhana. Like every day, thousands dance about Aranzara Takunda and many rounds of chanting Maha Mantra and all 22 hours half chanting something like that and i asked him we cannot do what to do then kesha baba said Koi <laughs> no problem why because ragnata dancer goswami did this strong sadhana that's why he had very strong power and very merciful what we can do, just try to take shelter from him. Only this. Then Kripa come. 
then we can get mercy. Just we should become only creeper patra. Just go down and every day read Virapak Manjari. And uh, we don't need to become like a Ragnata Dasa Goswami, but just we should take shelter from him. Then we can some, someday get Sita, Kripa Sita by his mercy. This is Kesha Baba's explanation. Then we feel hope. This is the power of uh, here it's written, six Goswamis. Rade, rade. And Bhaktira Samhita Sindhu, in, interesting. Rupa Goswami Pada say, Baba, Rati, appears in very fortunate person in two ways. One way is by absorption in sadhana. Second way is by the mercy of Krishna or his devotee. Its appearance by sadhana is normal. Its appearance by mercy is rare. This is very interesting. If we completely take shelter of Shat Goswami or Rashka Vaishnava fully, then this is mercy may come. Then we may, <laughs> we may attain this Baba and Lati. This also, uh, this sentence proof how Goswami's words is powerful enough to attain Baba. Please go, go ahead. Hmm. Sri Raghunath floats into the kingdom of Lila on the waves of prayer. Hmm. Sri Raghunath floats into the kingdom of Lila on the waves of prayer. Beautiful. <laughs> Please explain here. <laughs> Means like a surfing. This is from my understanding. <laughs> like we go to ocean. How can we go to deep? Not by my effort. It's written. On the waves of prayer, 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 then he floats into king of kingdom of Lila. This is the point. Please add more. Like my understanding like this. So Sri Raghunata, sometimes in the Sadaka Deha, Sometimes in the Siddha Deha. Sometimes Siddha Deha, sometimes uh, Sadaka Deha. On the Sadaka Deha, he prays so strongly. Then again he enters the, he began the conscious of Siddha Deha. Again, some, after some times, like he, he again in the Sadaka Deha, again he pray and then like uh, always like uh, like wave. Always Siddha Deha, Sadaka Deha. They are like a uh, floating. Sometimes there's so much regret because now I cannot uh, see the Lira. Now, now I cannot uh, enter the Lira. So he's crying, crying. 
and uh, so much prayer, like a Virapak Sumanjari. And then some vision appear again. Again, after some times, the vision disappear. Like this, this is a kind of wave, <laughs> always floating in the Premalasa, all the floating so much Mahababa. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is uh, my understanding. Jai Shri Radhe. I have the feeling that when Raguna does, cannot be in his Swarup, Avesh. Then his Rati is bursting out in prayers. So actually it's his Rati in prayers who is bringing him back. Because only by Rati you can attain this stage in your, in your uh, spiritual body, in your feeling body, condensed feelings, body. So what do you have to do? You have to pray intense. Your Rati has to be expressed in prayers. Then Radharani will hear. And by her mercy, she will give you again Seva. Wonderful. This Rati, another word is greed. Because uh, disappear the, the dealer, then so much greed, so much, so much hankering, this rara samai, so much desire is coming. Oh, when that day will come, when radarani give me mercy, this very strong desire, then radarani has to hear. Radarani has to give mercy upon us. Like a child is crying. Child is crying so intensely, the mother has to come. But the child does not cry so much, the mother may not come. So we have to, we have to cry and we have to desire. Sometimes Gora Gominasai Maharaji used to say, used to say us, I'm opening crying school. You should cry for Radhika, like this. <laughs> Very interesting. Thank you, Gorobaniji. Very nice. <laughs> Passing come to my heart from this sharing about the Prabodhananda Saraswati's story. Also of uh, Radhika Sudani, everyone knows. So, uh, Prabodhananda Saraswati Pada have to separate with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. After he surrender his lotus feet. Then at that time, what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said is that you can meet me in Brindava. You should go Brindava. From this sharing, I got one realization now. You can meet me in Brindavan. Means not only this Sadaka Deha material body. Sripada could meet in his spiritual body with Radharani. Yeah. Means this make ratti, this eagerness, is a point to meet Radha. Thank you for sharing, Jairade. That is true. And uh, just a little add more. So if the question will arise again, how we can get Rati, then it's very clear. We have to hear the prayers of such souls. We have to hear Raguna Dasa's prayers because when we hear this, Rati will be also transferred in 
our hearts, even if they are completely dried up, okay. even if they are stones, they will melt by the time. Again and again and again hearing. Yeah. This mess to put air the bit up of some idea. I want to share something more. Okay. So Raghunath is floating on the waves of prayer. The meaning is effortless. Floating means without effort. You don't have to swim. And the current is going to the kingdom. <laughs> so I understand the ocean and the waves, they are not separate, no? they are connected. But the ocean of Rasa, Radharani, spiritual world, kingdom of Leela, they have such a magnetic power, pulling power, and the waves also have the tendency, the power to bring us there. And this ocean is always active, always attractive, always wants to bring us, always wants to pull us there. And the waves also always want to catch us. So the mercy is always there. The unconditional love of Radharani and the Achayas is always emanating, want to bring us, want to bring us. But we don't know how to enter the wave and floating into the kingdom. So unlike Goravani so nicely explained, the waves of prayer, <laughs> We have to pray in that way and the mercy will catch us and effortless will bring us by their own power of pulling like a magnet, pulling us into the kingdom of Leela. This wave is Chitta Shakti, actually Fradini Shakti. So once we surrender as the lotus feet of Radharani, then we are influence of Fradini Shakti, big wave. Then we don't need to, <laughs> we don't need to worry. We don't need to too much endeavor. Automatically, masses wave is coming. And it is say, uh, if we cannot, this is very deep. If, if we cannot see the darshan of Radharani or Radha Mohan, then that chanting, that, that sadhana is useless. So to, we just to surrender. As the lotus feet of Shudrimati Radhika, our Swamini, and then automatically we are floating on the wave of Lhasa and Mahababa. Radhe Radhe, very nice, beautiful share. It's a past time. Is Nitya Leela in Hindi. Past time is not happen, is happening. So, what is meaning of 
नित्य लीला राधा इज हेयर कृष्णा इज विथ मी एंड रति इज ऑल्सो हेयर एंड रूप इज ऑल्सो हेयर इट वॉज नॉट फाइव हंड्रेड इयर्स बैक और समथिंग इज ट्रू Rati is inside us. We have to increase our rati. Then I can see the rupa. And this mercy is bringing our acharya near to us, like Radha Govind Das Baba Ji. bring to to me the to feel it that is not it was some years ago or some dead person story you have to generate rati this is the job of the disciple great to see the roop and then you understand the guru mandiri roop when you see the roop of samani this is roop mandiri is the samani form if you cannot see samani near to you you cannot see your guru mandiri and when you cannot see your guru manjari you will never fix in your manjari sarup so is a feeling my dear without rati it not grow sri krishna guru charane rati sei se uttam gati means the guru rati is important because guru is rati is giving this navigator will bring you to learn the rati what is the meaning of rati say is uttam what is the uttam that you will know the value of rati madness that is the lineage parampara lineage of our thing is a if we move with loving relation rupa will come of samni she will be embrace us she will accept us when i will reach to my sarup avish sri rad अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज ए फिलोसफी फीलिंग इज फ्रॉम द हार्ट राधे राधे गोइंग ऑन रीडिंग फ्रॉम राजा राधा सुधनी रीडिंग फ्रॉम द वर्ड्स ऑफ गोस्वामीज इज लाइक फीडिंग आस so like uh, the the child must to learn from the from mother and from the father who who others can learn him so uh the child learn a lot of things in the presence of mother and father not only what they talk but also what they feel what they are so like uh, the reading 
from the words of Goswami is like uh, like uh, uh, sucking the milk of the mother, and in the milk one cannot grow properly in some mother milk or vegan milk. It must be motherly milk, and inside there are all ingredients necessary for the growing of this body, of the spiritual body. Wow! So. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was, uh, he sent to Goswami to Vrindavan because he was absurd how this mission of Radha Dasi will be continued after me. So he sent to them and give them the service just to continue, to continue to, 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 to create this milk. So when we are drinking this milk, we are, uh, our, our body is growing. So we have many, many mothers actually in this path. And uh, Gurudev and Ananta Das Babaji, even if we have these words from Goswamis, we maybe don't, we don't know how to drink. So Gurudev and Ananta Das Babaji, he, he are like a mother who give his breast, uh, give you the taste for this milk that you can continue to drink. I wanted to share this. Jai Udayanidhi! Jai Udayanidhi! Jai Udayanidhi! Jai Very beautiful. Mm. So... This paragraph now that follows is narrated by Sri Ananda Gopal Goswami. Hmm? This paragraph that follows now that we will okay. read okay. is a quotation of uh, Ananda Baba quotes Sri Ananda Gopal Goswami. Hmm. Sri Raghunath floats into the kingdom of Leela on the waves of prayer. Tulasi worships Sri Radhika's lotus feet with ankle bells. The word abhyarche in the text means formal worship which usually means a regular worship of the deity in the temple with incense flowers bath and so on it is quite unusual to worship with ankle bells waist bells and toe rings but such are the ingredients of worship in the transcendental kingdom of radha and krishna's pastimes yeah wow awesome. <laughs> This is very interesting. This is the Manjiti service. <laughs> Dasi service. <laughs> yeah. So, especially by the Bhakta, thinking Abhyarache means formal worship is like kind of deity worship. Offering incense, lamp, Bathing water and uh, chamara, peacock feather, etc. But Laga Bhajan, <laughs> Rupa, Rupa Nuga Bhajan is different way of worship. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Like a uh, gopi, gopi worship Krishna, the, the eyes. 
and full of ecstasy, loving eye, just like a lamp, just seeing the Krishna. Wow. <laughs> so they are just seeing I. That is worship. Sometimes Krishna smelling the flavor of Radharani. This is also one kind of worship. Because Baba is there. Raga is there. So Raga Nuga Bhanja is Raga, Anuga. We following Raga, following love. And also, it is, uh, I think, uh, Lord Shiva said to Parvati, Aradana Anang Sarvesham, Vishnu Aradana Param, Tasmat Paratanam Devi, Tadiya Nam Parasparam, something like that. Many people thinking, worshiping Vishnu or Krishna is the highest worship. But Shiva said, no, more higher than more higher worship there. This is Tadiya. The question, what is Tadiya? Tadiya is anything, anything related with Krishna, very intimately related Krishna. That is Tadiya. They are all there now. No, <laughs> and that the person, most intimate person with Krishna is Srimati Radharani. So many people say, oh, Radharani is Tadiya. That's also true. But also Radha's Uncle Bell. Or oh, uh, West Belt. Oh, links. That is also Tadia. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> because, because Uncle Bell in Dasarira, Krishna play fruit and Radharan dancing. Krishna also dancing. And then fruit sound. Uncle Bell sound is so much matching. They are so much so sweet. Uh -huh. Krishna's fruit is very sweet, but if Radharani's Uncle Bell sounds combine, more sweet. So Radharani's Uncle Bell is serving Radha Mohan like anything. Yeah. So therefore, this mentioned this Abhyarche, this is Tadia. This is Raga Nuga Bhajan. This is our item of, of meditation also. Mm -hmm. yeah. also, the, also, I want to say, I want to add another thing. Worship means, worship means Upasana. So what do you mean Upasana? Upa means near. Asana is sit. So, Manjari sit very close with Radha and Moha. Yeah. They are serving, putting musk, kajar, you know, like, uh, like kunkuma, <laughs> or sometimes like sign of dolphin. And many, many things there, Manjari is sitting near Radharani or Radha Mohan or Mohan. They are serving. That is Upasana. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So this is very interesting. We are doing Raga Bhajan. So Raga, Raga Nuga Bhajan's uh, candidate, what should we offer? What should we meditate? <laughs> This this sentence, Anantaras Baba, no, Ana, Ananda Go, Gopal Goswami Pada, uh, showing us this is very beautiful sentence.
Rade, rade. So, I also want to say this beautiful point. This is already perfect, so I try to <laughs> just come to my heart. So, Shringara Rasa. This is Shringara Rasa. <laughs> and uh, what is the meaning of worship with uh, Uncle Bear's West Bear's strings? It's already good. Perfectly explained. <laughs> but actually, in Virapak Manjari, it's written many ways. Manjari put waist belt, ankle belt, two rings. At that time, what Manjari are doing? Talk with Rira. This necklace, do you remember last time? This, does Rira happen like this? And this uncle will, do you remember this color, whose color, this blue? And uncle will, you are dancing nicely, like this. Then it's worship for Rada also, make Rada happy. If our Shrimati Radhika sees this Shringara, then she become happy. And then Mohan see the uh, like a, her bracelet, her two, two rings, her ankle belts, waist belts, then Mohan become more eagerness. This is also worship our Radhika and our Manjaris, like this. That's why so just Jananda Maharaj said, why this uh, uh, worship of uh, two rings uh, and etc. means makes them happy. This is our Manjari service. This is uh, the way of Manjari worship. Rade, rade. Jai ho. So actually this is also, sometimes, Maybe, I don't know, like uh, our disciples' duty is to serve Guru Dev. How to serve Guru Dev? We should talk about this Radha Mohan Kata. Then Guru Dev could remember Radha Mohan Kata. Like Ishwara Puripada, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Gurudev, he used to serve uh, <coughs> Madhvendra Puri Goswami. He's taking care of in old age. At that time, Madhvendra Puri could not move so much. So Ishwara Puripada taking care of his Gurudev. Even he take care anything like a uh, pp kaka also he's serving like this and then at same time he's always chanting lira of radha mohan so that gurudev could remember radha mohan's lira that is our disciples duty so therefore if we talked about Radha Mohan Lira, and then Gurudev will be very pleased. Because our duty is only Shurabhanam, Kirtanam, Smaranam. Our Rashkar Vaishnava's duty is only Smarana, uh, uh, Shurabhanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Smaranam of Radha Mohan Lira. So this is <laughs> very interesting. Gora Chandra wanted to share one point, actually. Yeah. Uravari, you have quality of Paramatma. 
Because Kinkari knows, Kinkari knows the heart of Kinkari. <laughs> I wanted to say something about Raga Bhajan. I find very interesting that it is a very individual thing. In Vaidhi Bhakti, we notice, or in other religion, we notice they're all doing the same exactly thing at the same time every day, like the rituals. But in Raga Bhajan, you have such a variety of different great devotees that come in my mind. They're all doing different things. So it's very individual how somebody absorbs himself in his bhajan. Like Anantaras Babaji and Pran Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj. One is never doing parikrama. The other one is only doing parikrama. Somebody take every day three times bath in Radhakon. Other one living at Radhakon, but almost never take bath in Radhakon. So, this Raga Bhajan in the line of Mahaprabhu, it's very individual thing. How to find the way to absorb yourself. And that is for everyone, it's different with everything. Kesha Baba and Sadhu Maharaj, Gurudev, they're also completely different. <laughs> But both are deeply absorbed. So for me, this is also evidence that it is a spiritual thing. It's not material. It's not vaidi. It's born from inner connection and feeling of what is good at what time and what food is fitting me and what circumstances I need for my bhajan. Like it's very individual thing that I only notice in this Raganuga bhajan. All others, they become like uh, machines, robots, doing everything the same. That came to, to me also. <laughs> Jai Shri Radhe. In this connection, I also wanted to add a little bit. Gorachandra is always inspiring so much, I cannot believe. <laughs> so, actually, you were mentioning the seva. And I was thinking, which kind of seva would be the best seva to satisfy Krishna? So, I was thinking that he is saying to gopis, that he will be always indebted because he cannot give the love back they offer to him. Especially Radharani, he can never ever give back. But if we serve him to stabilize Radharani in the time she cannot meet him, if we satisfy in any way Radharani, this is the best seva for Krishna. Which seva could be better? And this is giving back a little bit of this adapted Krishna, actually. <laughs> Jai Shri Radhe. Beautiful. Very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>